guys, and welcome to part 12 of my Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. So, uh, a few things have changed uh, since last I uh, recorded something. Firstly, Tyr here is now level 14. I'm not going to go further than that because I feel that otherwise I will have evolve, I'll have him evolve way too early, and that will that will I think just ruin the working of it. So. I'm going to do a little bit more training a bit later on with that, and we'll see how that goes. So, yes. Uh, right, before we talk to him, there are a few things I want to uh, do quickly. Now, as I was training up Tour, I caught a few other Pokémon to help me do that. And I've got them in here, and I'm going to just withdraw two of them, because I can get some items off them. So, Geodude, and as you can see, this Machop here, HM01, is going to be my HM slave if I need it, and is, as you can see, rather a higher level than everyone else, because she was the one I was using for training up Tour. So I'm going to take this Machop out. Yes, 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 it's a Pokemon Center, we know. Let's get away from it. Right. First thing. Up here, this is the place I was training the... Uh, I was training up to. There are a few things I want to talk to you about. Firstly, there's this. As you can see, you can't go up it. This is a mud, a mudslide. You can only ride... You can only go up these, as opposed to down them, when you've got a bike. Um, which, and I'll explain that later. So yeah, that's, that's that. It's a shortcut to Eterna. Now, if you... Oh, not fair. Yeah, Ponyta. These are really good fire types you can catch here. Um, I'm just going to fight this because it's always good to get more XP. Uh, we'll give this one to Simia because Simia is cool. Ugh. It took me so long to train train that magic carp up to where it is. Don't growl at me! Uh, you might wonder why I'm not using Ember. Firstly, fire type moves are not so effective on, uh, well, fire types. And also, Ponyta will, half of the time, have an ability called Flash Fire. And if you use a fire type move on a Pokemon with Flash Fire, it will uh, absorb the fire type move, take no damage from it at all, and that will increase its special attack. There's a version of this for water and electric as well, uh, water absorb and volt absorb. Uh, so yes, watch out for those. I'm just gonna... oh... come on. It can only do three hit points of damage to me. That's why it's having problems. Okay. Simia will level up. Always nice. Especially seeing as I'm going to have to take on the gym pretty much with her alone. I should explain the gym and its leader, Rock, is rock type speciality. So, oh dear. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to teach Simia that HM rock smash. Because that's a good idea. And we're going to do this with Ornith and this is going to take forever. But once I've gotten to that item, we can go out of here and be free of wild battles until the mine. All good. So, wing attack, that will take it out in one. Super effective. If you can fly, you can take out a fighting type. Excellent. Ah, oh, almost leveled there. All right. A Pokeball you'll get here. Always nice. See those up there? Those are berry bushes. These are where you can find berries in the in the game. Uh, various patches of like those all over the time, all over the place. Those ones don't look very well watered, to be honest. All right, we're off the route. Good, good. Right, this is the museum uh, of coal, um, where they get their facts wrong about coal. I should know. Uh, I actually do know. 
So yeah, that's a bit, a little bit pointless. Uh, there is a guy in there who will uh, revive a fossil if you find one. So yes, uh, I'll talk about those when I get to them. Uh, there is a person in here who will give you an item, so I'll just go and find him. I think it was him, maybe? Yes. No, he'll probably do something there later. We'll, I'll check that out after we've done the gym. It's this guy. No, it isn't. I am useless. I can't remember who it is who gives me an item. Ah! Him. It's him. He'll give you a dust... No, a great ball. No, a dust ball's over. Also. Yes, so a great ball. That's the uh, second level of Pokeball. After the normal ones and the premier ones. Um, so yeah, that will that will catch me more likely to catch um, a Pokemon when you throw it, which is always good. Right, a few other items to collect. Uh, first, we'll go in here. And speak to her, she'll give you the Dusk Ball. Now, Dusk Ball is a very good Pokeball, uh, and if you're using it either at night or in a cave, a place where it is all dark, then it'll have a, a massively boosted chance of catching a Pokemon. It's one of those specialised ones um, that will work better in certain conditions. So, yes, always good to have a Dusk Ball. And that's a Psyduck down there that they named yellow for some reason. It's pointless though. Most of the people in these in these places don't actually do anything. Now there's two things to do here. Now the reason I've got this uh, Machop here is because this, if she will consent to talk to me, will, this is um, one of those people in the game who will trade certain Pokemon for certain other ones. Now, in the type in the type specific ones, this means that um, you can get a Pokemon from the other game. So yeah, um, there's one there's one person in Pokemon Black and White who will trade one of the white ex one of the black exclusive ones for one of the white exclusive ones, and the other way around in the other game. So yes. Uh, now I, I'm not going to do most of these, pretty, pretty much any of these really, but I'm going to do this because I found you can actually get an Orenberry off it, and it also helps me to show off how trading works. So yes, you simply, one goes up for the other and you trade the other and then you get a, this will come up, and then a little animation occurs, the Pokeball and all that stuff. And I'm not going to show you the whole thing because that would just be pointless. But yes, there goes the Pokeball. Flying, it shouldn't be doing that. But whatever, they decided to go for flying. And that's the trade. I get the Abra, and she gets the Machop. And I should explain. Traded Pokémon, they get double experience in battle. Ah, there we go. Kaza, what a strange name that is. Um, yes. Traded Pokémon get double experience in battle. So, yeah, they, they'll, they'll level up very fast, but if they are above the level that your gym badge can cope with, I'll explain how gym badges work once I get one, um, they will ignore you, which is nice. I've done, I, when I first played through Platinum, I had a mostly traded team, and let's just say it really did bite me in the ass. so yeah, that's nice. Up here then, when I did not run into that wall, whatever, go talk to this guy, and he'll say how he's too lazy to go outside. But if you show him a Geodude, he'll be all, oh look, it's cute, let's go, I'm gonna catch it. And then he's decided he's gonna go and catch it after all. And then he'll give you a heel ball. Now this is another kind of specialized ball. It, it's, uh, I, think, I think it's better than a Pokeball, but what it'll do is it'll heal the Pokemon you catch it in completely, which is nice. So yes, uh, that about that about wraps up up here, I think. Uh, yes, he'll tell you about all those abilities. I've already mentioned those. Yes, okay. So there you go. That's those items done. Uh, 
There are a few other items that I want to go and get, just in here. This is the Auroberg Mine. Now first, go and speak to, not that much shop, but this guy, if you'll... He'll talk about how it's hard work working on, but working on side Pokemon makes him happy. And then he'll give you a Super Potion. This is good. The Super Potion will heal 50 hit points as, a, as opposed to the normal 20 of a normal potion. Um, so yes, those are very good. Get those. Uh, ow. Alright. There's two items here. A dire hit, that's one of those battle items. It'll increase your chances of getting a critical hit. And a yellow shard. These are found very rarely in the game, except in one place, which I'll tell you about later. Uh, if you've got enough of these, they are, they're sort of a, a form of currency. You can trade them to certain NPCs and they will give you, um, they will teach you moves. Move tutors. These are very useful because these moves are difficult to come by. Now, you may be wondering why I'm standing around here. Well, if you face the way I'm facing and then click A, you find a pearl in the slag heap. <laughs> now, I found these by accident when I was, um, you know, looking around. Hidden items are quite rare and quite hard to find. You'll get given an app later on your Poket, which will help you finding those items, which, which is really when they'll become much more common. But yes, I found these two. It's not there, it's there. You can't see them, but they are there. Uh, so yes, a pearl is an item you can sell for a small amount of money, always worth it. A heart scale is another move tutor item, but this one's a special one. The move tutor in question will teach you any move that the Pokemon in question has already been able to learn. So let's say with Simia I decided to forget Scratch. If I went back with um, heart scale to the move tutor, in that particular move tutor, I think uh, the move relearner is what we'll call it. Um, I could then relearn Scratch. Now I wouldn't want to if I replaced it and I've replaced it for something good, but uh, yeah, there's that. So yes, um, one more thing. No, okay. Uh, so yes, I'm going to end this video back where I started. Always fun, and I'll see you in the next part. Uh, so yeah, see you then.